everybody, how's it going? So, today I'm gonna show you how to install or replace the external battery on your Nightbot ES and E-Line scooters. The external battery will significantly increase the range and the speed of your vehicle, so it's definitely worth the investment. This is one of my scooters, it's a Ninebot E22, but it's gonna be the same process for the Ninebot ES1, ES2, ES4, E25 and E45 models. So, let's get into it. I got this battery for about 200 bucks on Amazon, and it comes with a manual, mounting bracket, several hex keys, screws and rubber plugs. I'll put the links to the battery and some useful accessories down below in the description. Now, before we go on, let's start the Ninebot app and check the status of the built-in battery, which is inside of the stem. As you can see, the maximum range with the fully charged battery is about 22 km, or 13.7 miles, and the top speed in sport mode is limited to 20 km, or 12.5 miles per hour. So, now let's attach the external battery and see how it affects the range, speed and the overall performance of the scooter. The first thing we need to do is remove these three screws from the stem. Next, we need to remove the charge port cover. You can do it with your nails or with a prying tool like this, I'll put the link down below. Simply pry open the cover, like so, and inside we have two more screws that we need to remove. So, with the screws removed, we can now remove the charge port cover, this piece of rubber and this little screw here. Alright, what we need to do now is install the mounting bracket to the stem. And by the way, as you can see, both the bracket and the battery have these rubber seals, which will cover these ports and prevent moisture from getting inside the stem. Align the bracket with the screw holes on the stem and secure it with the screws. Make sure to tighten these screws firmly. So, now we can go ahead and remove this protective cap from the battery connector and carefully attach the battery pack to its bracket. And while holding it firmly in place, secure the battery to the stem with the two M4 screws and one M3 screw at the bottom of the battery. Make sure everything is nice and tight. Finally, cover the screw holes with these rubber plugs. If you want to remove the battery, simply reverse the process. And if at some point in the future you might want to replace the battery, then simply remove these rubber plugs using a small flathead screwdriver, then take out the screws, replace the battery, put everything back together and you're good to go. Ok, so next I'm gonna go ahead and charge the battery using this charging port, which charges both the external and internal batteries at the same time. Alright, so the battery is fully charged and it seemed to work pretty well. Now let's start the Ninebot app and see what's changed. And as you can see, now the fully charged battery gets to approximately 44 km or 27 miles of range, and a top speed of 25 km or 15.8 miles per hour in sport mode. And this is a pretty cool result. So, I've been testing this scooter for a couple of days now, and I'm super happy with this upgrade. Now you can go farther, faster, and you can climb fairly steep hills, which I can't climb even with my 9-bot Max. The only downside, though, is that this scooter became 4 pounds or 2 kilos heavier, but it's still worth it anyway. So, that's it, I hope it was helpful, and thank you for watching.